Hello, this is Raina with Lilo Crafts, and today I am coming on to start working on my botanical journal again. And so this is the one that we are making together, and I wanted to share a couple things with you. First of all, last time when I shared was I thought I had made this flap thinking that it could go around, but it didn't meet, so I didn't know what to do with that. And I talked to Dale, my sweet friend, who is a seasoned journal maker, and she said, Rena, just fold that over and turn that into a pocket back there. And I thought, oh my gosh, that looks so good like that because it has ticking here and this other fabric here. And then she said, you know, and I'm like, oh, I was gonna put a lace pocket here. And she said, well, maybe you could, but do you have any more of this fabric? because she said, you know, to tie it together, you could make a pocket on the front with it as well. And then you would have the same kind of thing going on on the front and the back, which I absolutely love. And so I do, I have one last little piece of fabric. So this is what we are gonna start with in doing this journal together. And I am going to have this journal for for sale. My husband had to have some genetic testing done because he had had a melanoma or and they just cut it all out. It was pretty big and the genetic testing was not covered by insurance and so the genetic testing is $8500. So, I thought maybe, you know what, if I could sell some of my crafts that I'm making these journals that I'm making it could help go towards those medical expenses. And so if you are interested in this at all, just message me down below because it would be such a blessing to be able to sell it to you. So what I am doing is putting Fabri-Tac on here and I'm gonna clip it uh, to hold this in place for right now. And then I'm gonna see if it needs to be tacked down and on my sewing machine. Okay, now as we go back to the front, I do like this, but I do wanna see if the lace I was thinking of using would be great and put it together. Something I could leave this scallop on the top and then maybe add this down here on the bottom and I could either make one pocket or have a double pocket. I'm gonna cut this lace right here. Okay, now for this, I don't know if I want raw edges or finished edges. I think I want a finished edge. So I think what I'm gonna do is just Cut this a little bit larger like that. Before I go to the sewing machine, I just wanted you to see that I did need to pin this. I am not an expert seamstress, and what I learned in sewing class when I was nine was try to make your pins straight because then your sewing machine will sew over them. So that's what I have tried to do here. And then on the corners, I did cut them on an angle just like that to reduce some of the bulk. Okay, okay, so I sewed this on my sewing machine and I put this vine stitch on the top of the pocket to match the vine stitching that I put on the back pocket. And this was just, and I'm gonna just clip off all these frayed little ends. And what I wanna say is, Dale reminded me, Raina, there's no mistakes in junk journaling because I thought I wasn't going to be able to sell this because, you know, I had made a mistake. And she said, everything can always be fixed and there's no rules in junk journaling. So everything goes. So she said, you know, Raina, don't, don't worry about it. And so if any of you are worried that you know, or maybe fear of doing it and messing up is stopping you from going ahead and starting. I just want to remind you because my sweet friend reminded me nothing has to be perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and put these two together. And what I am going to use is this little pocket right here as my guide for how big 
I want to make this lace because I want them to be the same size, approximately the same size. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of Fabri-Tac glue onto my lace right there. And I'm just going to fold that over. I'm gonna use my little silicone spatula to try and hold that in place for just a moment while that Fabri-Tac sets. Okay, look at that, perfect. Oh, okay, great. And we just need to turn this side over just a hair as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my Fabri-Tac glue on here again. and use my spatula to hold that down. Wipe my fingers here. <laughs> so how are you guys today? I hope that you are doing well. Okay, there we go, that looks great. Okay, so now I do have a little bit of extra lace over here and I kind of want it to look straight. So I'm just gonna trim off just a bit. And some of it is glued down. And if it's glued down, I am just not gonna worry about it. Okay. Okay. So now, oh, that's gonna look so great. Okay. Hey, are you guys watching anything on TV or on Netflix that you like? I would love to know. So put that in the comments below if you guys are watching anything. I stumbled on or it was recommended to me on Netflix this show called White Collar. Have any of you ever heard of it? It, I am just a little bit hooked on it. I love these mysteries or, you know, police shows, things like that, but I do not like blood and gore and cursing and all of that. So this is just right up my alley. And what it is, is a guy who was caught and he is a burglar, a thief, a, you know, a, he makes art. I mean, just so many different things. And he offers the FBI to work with them and help them catch white collar criminals. And so there's six seasons and I am in season four now. I just, I just love the show. I love the show. So anyway, I do recommend it if you like those kinds of things. And I would love to know if you guys have any recommendations because we really don't go to the movies. My husband and I, I haven't been to the movies since well before COVID. So probably in over five years, it's been since I've been to the movies. So anyway, uh, we recently got Netflix. And so I'm, I don't know what to watch. You guys, we got it in. We got the pockets in. Isn't that awesome? So I just need to let those dry. But I love the way that looks. And I love that it ties into the back over here. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, now what I also wanted to do was to put some lace on the spine before I figure out what I'm gonna use as the cover piece. And then I thought we could go in and see if we could add some tags or things to start putting inside of the journal, inside the pockets. So I have a few laces here that I thought we could use. I really thought I was gonna use this, the same lace, but as you can see, I cut out some of the scallops and so it was just not quite long enough. Okay, so I have this pretty lace, which I think that would look very nice. I thought this one, maybe because it kind of reminds me of plants. I'm wondering if it's too busy. Okay, then I have this color which I do love this color lace and this lace is so gorgeous and it's heavier so it lays so nicely on the spine. Oh, I wish I could hear you guys. I wish I could hear you through YouTube. <laughs> You're probably telling me, no, do that one, do that one. Okay, and I've got this one and I am just a sucker for scalloped lace, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do this, but in order to do this, I am gonna have to fussy cut out this. 
for me, it's kind of between this. I like that the white is like a contrast here. And I also like this dark one, which is a contrast. So you know what? I'm going to ask you to write down. Do you think I should do the scallop, which would be this white one or the dark one? And whichever one gets the most votes is what I'm going to do. And I will do that the next time when we are together. I will go ahead and make sure I have that on the spine. If you participate, that will get you entered into a secret giveaway, a hidden giveaway. Give away some ephemera that I have made, okay? And you have to be a subscriber to my channel. You have to be 18 years of age and older, and you have to be in the US. Okay, those are the only rules. And so you do need to comment and let me know which one you think would be better. Okay, all right, and we'll do that as a hidden giveaway. How fun, how fun is that? Okay, now let's go ahead and start looking at the journal. I thought might be able to go in to the journal as journaling cards or tags. And then I also have some more. If I wanted to do this as a journaling card, I would need to cover it on the back. So we'll see. I love that it is paste though. I do want to add something with paste. I love this guest check. So let's see. So I've got that there. Would this look pretty in the front? It's kind of cream and this is a little more white. So I don't want to add that there. Okay, so here's an option. But you know, this doesn't have any pink in it, so not sure about that. But maybe on this side, because this side has like pink and purple. So let's go ahead and stick that in there. And you can see this is what it looks like on the back. And you know what? I'm going to hit this with a little bit of Distress Ink on the back. Looks like I might have missed doing that the first time around. I love these guest checks. How about you guys? Do you like making altering guest checks? I think they're so sweet and you don't have to put that many elements on them for sure. Okay, this one already has a tag in here. Oh, that's so pretty, I like it. It's so fun to revisit things because you forget what you put inside your journals. All right. Now, let's see here, what can we stick in there? So, I wonder if this one got one here. Oh, it sticks out too far. Too big. A little bit big. Too big, too big, too big. Okay, so for the things I don't have anything ready for, I'm just going to stick these little Project Life cards in here so I know I need to come back and make something. So I've got something in there. These are pages. Oh, I have this bag. Where was I going to put this? And so let me just go ahead and put this in here. Okay, so perfect. So we've got that. Now this is a tuck, or I have this library pocket. I think I'm gonna do this library card because it's a little more simple. And there's a lot going on between those pages. Oops, and I've got another thing on this side, another tuck. So I don't think I have anything super thin yet. So I'll put another card in here. This is also a journaling spot. Okay, so I need something in there. And I've got this sweet little tag that goes with it. And I've got these raffle tickets that I think would be really cute. And on these little raffle tickets, I am, because they're not coffee dyed, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this with a little bit of vintage photo. And you know what? I'm just going to tie a bow and I'm going to do lightly, do on the top. And I'll hit the back side. Okay, I think one of these little flower thingies would be great. Great on there. And maybe just a piece of lace. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna put that like that and then just a sweet little flower there. Okay, and so I'm gonna put it on this end right here. A little dab of hot glue and this little bit of lace. This is such a great project for using up tiny little pieces. Like these would be such cute little snippets. I might have to make up some more of these. Oh my gosh, to stick into small pockets or tucks that you have. I love that. Okay, and then you know what? I'm gonna put that on this side. And then this needs a little bit. I have this packet of little bitty bows and I think this like dusty, color one would be so cute like that to tie in with that. Oh, adorable, adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put just a dab of hot glue, figure out which side is the front, this one right here. I'm gonna put that right there. Oh, that's so cute, so cute. And I'm going to ink up the back. Okay, so we've got that little piece to add right there along with that one. Oh, <laughs> I love it, I love it. Okay, now this can use something bigger. So, let me see over here. Oh, I love pulling some of those purple tones in there. So that would go great. And maybe something else in the front as well. Maybe something like that to tie the yellow in so I can have the purple and the yellow. Or with this yellow, oh, that yellow shows up even more. Okay, so this needs a solid color backing. And so I will go ahead and do that off camera. Okay, another big thing. So, love this birdie scrappy pad. This right here that we made together. Oh, I think that is going to be so cute right there. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, I've got this. Now this needs something right here. And I think this is the perfect time to put this in. Oh, love, L-O-V-E. I might put something else in that pocket too. But at least I've got something in there to start with. And I kept these long because I want to put some dangles or something on those. Okay, so this one needs something on the inside and the outside. So this, I think, is the perfect time for this. Bring some blue in. And... I'm gonna need something on the, so I've got something on the bottom here, but I still need something on the inside. And I need something over here. Boy, this is gonna be such a loaded journal. Such a loaded journal, okay. I'm gonna stick this here. Okay, love it. Love it, okay. And this already has, oh, I pulled this off. So this is a pocket here. A vellum pocket and this is a huge pocket with a huge journaling tag already in it so that's cool I wonder if I can just put something in here that will show through maybe like that that might be pretty okay so let's stick this giant one in here oh that looks so pretty like that right oh love it Okay, and this is just an edging, not a tuck. Okay, now this is a tuck right here. So, let's see here. That's got a little bit more of a white background. So, I've got to come back to that one. Okay. Oh, pretty. Okay, yes, and I wanted to glue this down in here. All right, so I've got posies, and I have a fold-out journaling spot already for that one. And I need something for in here. Ooh, this is pretty. Look. Okay. Oh. 
I wonder if I could tie that in just like that. And then I could put something over here. Maybe like this beautiful scrappy pad, right? Look at this beautiful scrappy pad there. Tied under that lace. Oh, so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so we've got that. I've got this top tuck. Okay, we've got this. This I do need to add some ribbon to. And I've got a top tuck there. Okay, so I need something small. I can't think of off the top of my head that I might have made. Okay, another big spot. So, let's see here. I'm not sure I love that there. Okay, it looks like I'm going to need to make some more ephemera for this journal. Okay, I've got that there. And then this is still drying. Okay, we did a lot today. Before you head on out, I would so love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and comment. Don't forget to comment below for this hidden giveaway. I cannot wait to hear which lace you want me to use on the spine. And then we will make some more ephemera to fill up these pockets. All right, well, thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.